Good morning and thanks for being with us. I'm Heather Abraham. Happy Friday. I don't know about you, but it seems like it has been such a long week, mostly because of the weather and because I know I got little sleep on Sunday night into Monday because of the Super Bowl, but it looks like we are wrapping up the week with a little more snow. Meteorologist Ron Smiley will have our complete local forecast just ahead. While it may be cold outside, PPG Payne's Arena is turning up the heat this weekend with some hot metal. Monster Jam Triple Threat is roaring into Pittsburgh tonight through Sunday with drivers competing in customized vehicles weighing as much as 12,000 pounds and standing 12 feet tall. And among the drivers behind the wheel of these monster trucks is a woman going up against the guys. She's Kayla Blood driving El Toro Loco. And get this, her own husband is one of the guys that she competes against sometimes. We're happy to have Kayla with us this morning to tell us what it's like to get behind the wheel of one of these big rigs. Good morning, Kayla. Good morning. Thank you for having me. So where, how, how did you get your start in this? Where did you passion for it? Uh, well, I've always kind of had the passion to do kind of crazy things. You know, I've been an adrenaline junkie all my life. But, um, you know, I raced for Monster Jam on my quad, and uh, so did my husband. You know, that's kind of where we started doing all that. And, um, you know, I got out there in one of the competitions and beat some of the guys, and they were like, you know, we need to put this redhead behind a... Uh, <laughs> behind the wheel of a monster jam machine so and that's why it, that's what they did and it's been absolutely amazing well and now you're the purple head yes i am yes i am i changed <laughs> it up on you guys yeah uh, i was a hairdresser back in the day too so i like to keep my hair different colors it's fun so even riding the quads getting your start there how did that come about is this something you would just do at home in louisiana uh, well i grew up you know playing in the mud doing all that fun stuff i was big tomboy and then uh whenever i met my husband i was and, um, really? Yes, I'd been doing that for about three years when I met him, and I was training. And um, after I found out I was pregnant for my son, we had uh, decided, you know, we want to do something as a family and doing motocross. He had done his whole life, so he raced. And so he's like, you know, we should do this together. We're going to get you a bike, and we're going to be a motocross family. And so that's what we are. We have my little boy, a full-wheeler now. So wow. looking forward to the future, you know, and moto family. So much fun. So you really are into extremes, right? Yes, it seems I, I love, like. love it all. <laughs> um, so what can people expect if they come out to the show this weekend? Uh, well, you know, we have some of the best Monster Jam athletes for an arena here this weekend. So I don't know about you guys, but I would be pretty excited. You know, we have Tyler Meninga. He's innovated so many different moves in Monster Jam with the tricks and all this stuff. And we have Barry Moose Sauer. We have Colton Eichelberger. And, you know, it's just going to be a really awesome show with some really great athletes. That's awesome. We, we were talking earlier uh, in the news portion of our show this morning about just how much it takes to get the arena ready for something like this, putting down the plywood and the wood yes. beneath the dirt over top of the ice. Yes, yes, most definitely. You know, those are our unsung heroes right there. They come in and they get the tracks done for us. It takes about 100 man hours to build the tracks and to put all the obstacles in there, you know, and uh, it's a lot that goes into it and a lot of hard workers that do a lot of long hours out there. Well, and I'm sure every city you go to is a little bit different. Now, all the setups are different. So is the track always the same? How do you, because you can't really practice beforehand. No, the track is uh, always the same. The format's always the same, but the dirt is the tricky part. The dirt, really? yes, the dirt changes every weekend. So as a driver going in and filling out the dirt and getting used to the dirt and seeing if it's a little tacky, a little slick, you gotta watch yourself here and there. So that's definitely the um, biggest challenge. All right, so you were talking about Tyler, one mm -hmm. of the drivers, and his, his moves, some of the things that he's created. What's your signature move? Well, you know, I haven't really perfected a signature move per se for myself, you know, but um, for my fans, they know that I have one driving style. That driving style is to come out there and drive that Monster Jam truck the best way that I know how and get crazy. And, uh, you know, I just have a very aggressive driving style and the kids love it. And, you know, they, they're there for me when I come out and they get them horns up and it's an awesome time. We were just looking at a picture that was your truck that we just saw a few moments ago. So you're not the only lady out there and we shouldn't single you out because no, you, no, no. there's another woman that's part of this series with you. Yes, yes, Miranda Kozad is here and she'll be in Scooby-Doo. She's a phenomenal driver as well and a great person and you know you guys will be able to meet her as well and so let's talk about your husband so you guys did not meet uh, in the monster jam <laughs> arena um, how did you guys meet and what is it like competing against him oh well we've been together for about seven years now married for one so about seven years ago we met and um, you know it was through some of our friends that did motocross of course and uh, before that I was playing in the mud doing <laughs> mud nationals and all that four-wheeler stuff you know and then uh, he was on the racing side of things so that's where I was kind of like man this is this is really cool I want to do all this you know so it, we just kind of 
came together and we knew that that was it. <laughs> so you both probably are pretty competitive. Do you guys ever argue at home about who really won? <laughs> oh my goodness, our family suppers are very interesting sometimes, <laughs> especially after we were able to compete in the show together. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay, I also want to talk about this because I think this is really cool. Fans can get involved if they come out this weekend. They can actually get involved in part of these competitions and weigh in yes. on who they think won. Yes, yes. So we have a new judging system this year and if you go to judgeszone.com, thejudgeszone.com, and during the uh, competition you can do uh, donuts, wheelies, and freestyle. They can actually judge themselves by moving up a BKT tire to one through ten, you know, and deciding what they want to give the score or what score they want to give to their driver. All right. And are, have you been here in Pittsburgh before? Have you I haven't. Done this anything? is my first time. It's okay. awesome. And what do you think so far of the arena? Are you ready? Oh, I'm always ready. You know, we come out swinging and uh, guns blazing, and we're going to be ready to whip these guys' butts. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, good luck to you. Thank, Thank you, you so much. much for joining us this morning. Have a lot of fun. Yes, and you can come see Kayla take on the guys at Monster Jam Triple Threat tonight through Sunday at PPG Paints Arena with a pit party on Saturday and Sunday morning at 10.30. We'll have all the details posted for you as well as information on tickets online.